Well, let's now bring in Malik Kamar Afsal. He's a Supreme Court lawyer and he joins us also from Islamabad. Malik, I want to take a step back here and understand the plethora of charges that Imran Khan is facing. They include, what, corruption, terrorism and the use of illegal funds. How many warrants are we talking about? Some of these are really quite serious charges. Interestingly, there are more than 75 FIRs registered against him. And in Balochistan, the High Court has interfered and has crashed most of the FIRs. But the fact is that there are so many cases that actually nobody knows how many cases are there. And the police is coming up with warrants off and on, and so many warrants are in the field that is really very confusing. But right now, what we have seen is that the High Court has stopped the operation of the police and has directed the... And Imran Khan has given an undertaking to appear in the court. So right now, we just heard that there is an order from the Islamabad High Court that a petition which had challenged the warrants have been dismissed. So the natural course would be that Imran Khan has to appear in the court on 18th. Until then, I think there is no there is no such protective order as yet because the operation has been stopped, but no protective order mm -hmm. has been given yet. So mm, what clearly, the, clearly his supporters yeah, he, feel that there's a lot at stake here. Imran Khan, I believe, could be banned yeah, from politics course. if he's found guilty in any of these cases. Obviously, he's hugely popular. Actually, the fact is that everybody knows that all these cases, they are just political victimization. There's nothing in, in, the, in those cases. And in Pakistan, it has become a kind of a very normal course that when whoever comes into the power, they just drag the other person into the litigation and the criminal prosecution, and nobody gets the results. It has been going on for last so many years, and the people are fed up of this. And now people don't trust about these cases, and uh, everybody knows that these are just false ac accusations. So what are my point is that, you see, in Pakistan, you don't get conviction, but actually the rigors of the trial or the rigors of the dragging, that is really what, what really is the punishment. So it's, uh, I think it's more than a bit act of victimization which is going on. But right now, Imran Khan has the only option, and that option is that he has to appear in the court. Um, and if in Islamabad he gets a protective order, sure. pro probably that will save him. Uh, Malika, I do want to ask you, you say this is politically motivated. Imran Khan says this is politically motivated. You yourself are a Supreme Court lawyer. Just how independent are the courts? You see, this is a very interesting question. In Pakistan, it's a com kind of a complex uh, judicial system. The lower courts working, they are directly under the control of the executives. So there's not much independence in them. But as you go to the higher hierarchy, like High Court and Supreme Court, they are working independently. But the procedure is such, and it's uh, all the col colonial laws, that they, these laws actually don't give you much margin to have, a, I would say, a fair trial in Pakistan. Because mm -hmm. the power which are with the executive, they are so so much powerful that they can do anything. Just like even yesterday, you can change a judge in just two hours. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday, they changed the judge who had given him a little bit of relief. So executive actually controls the judiciary in one way or the other. It's only the superior judiciary, mm -hmm. but the superior judiciary sometimes feels very handicapped because of the laws, because of the system, which actually controls the jurisdiction of the Supreme so, Court. Even. So, Malik, clearly a very volatile situation there still. Malik Kamar Afsal there, a Supreme Court lawyer, speaking to us from Islamabad. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on Al Jazeera, sir. You are welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.